Alrighty, news out of the Manly Souths trial. Uh, ben Trevojevic. Ben Trevojevic has scored a hat trick in the first half. Uh, Luke Brooks set up a couple of tries. He's gone off, but yeah, thirty six six in the third quarter, I believe. Manly over South. Right. Warriors. They've picked up Kurt Capel. They've picked. They've welcomed back Chanel Harris Tavita, and they've welcomed back to Roger Tuivasa Shek just in case they didn't have enough hyphens in their squad. They've lost Josh Curran, Bailey Sirenen, Valia and Valami. How's the draw look? And Willie Army. Willie Army is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they've probably got, as I mentioned earlier, one of, the, getting tired. <laughs> one of the best draws in the competition. Only four games against the top four and um, four against the bottom three. So but, uh, going off how, as long as they're going well, they should progress pretty nicely through this competition don't only have to play the top four a couple of times or once each i'm pretty sure it is and mm -hmm. yeah the rest of it should all be pretty <laughs> straightforward. yeah well they play the raiders twice bulldogs twice sharks twice dolphins titans seagulls storm knights it's pretty cozy as you said they got a trial game against the tigers next weekend and they've got the dolphins a week after so they were the flash i shouldn't say flash in a pen they were the the other rocket ship team last year They've not lost a great deal. Uh, in fact, what they've lost, they've if they've come out either covering or better, better for the run. Uh, what do you talk about their their play style, and then what are you thinking this year, Bar? Yeah, well, I think um, their recruitment just addressed most of their majority of their issues. A uh, bit of depth in the halves, uh, good second rower. They've lost a little bit of centre cover coverage, but. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> They've picked up a bloody good one. <laughs> they have. Yeah, a little bit of coverage in the second row and um, centre, but they've picked up some very good... I didn't even do my Very team. good guys. Yeah, sure, no. yeah, Charles is fullback, Nickel Clockstar. Rotten is Lesniak on the wing. Pompey, two of us are Shaq at four. Uh, Rocco Berry, five. Tamari Martin, I've got six. I know people are bullish on Luke Metcalf, as I used to be, but it seems Tamari's got the inside run there. Johnson, Fenua Blake, Egan, Barnett, Capel, Ford, Harris, the bench is Walker, Tavanga, Neokore, and Bunty. Yep. Foa. Probably be looking for some development guys to come through just to fill a couple of those gaps in the 25 in the in the second row and centre. But um, very strong 1-17. Um, big mobile pack that likes to roll through the middle. A lot of what they do comes off their forward pressure and dominance in the middle of the field. Uh, they really bunker down hard in the first couple of tackles and try to get the, the opposition on the back foot with some huge charges through the middle of the field and then you've got the likes of Sean Johnson uh, looking for some uh, some back rowers and getting it out a little bit wider. They had a few issues with their centres last year but they yeah. were able to cover it for the majority of the year. Um, more so defensively. Uh, a couple of times the attack broke down when it did get out there but um, Sean Johnson last year was probably the best half at finding holes for people to just run through <laughs> and cause absolute chaos for the defensive side. And a lot of times untouched. Yeah. Like you'd have front rowers just wandering over untouched. Yeah. Um, a good number nine who is has a very good strong running game, actually. Probably close to the best running game in the competition. Uh, when he picks his times, again, very good at it. Gets in and behind the ruck, which causes a lot of problems uh, with a quick play of the ball with another forward straight up behind him and yeah breaking down that middle as I said um, <clears throat> really rely on the grit and graft in the middle of the field now they've got a little bit more x factor and the likes of hopefully Roger comes back at close to his best out there in the centers who has footwork pace and strength to provide options out there well he um, puts 260 meters back into this team and uh, breaks tackles makes tackles you know, supports as good as anyone, yeah. A backup goal kicker if needed, or it used to be. Um, Chance is a spitting image of Gutherson, realistically. He loves to play that support play back through the middle, never stops working. Saved a couple of brilliant tries last year off his own bat, mm -hmm. which we've never mm -hmm. seen out of him before. His defensive positioning was uh, right up there with some of the better fullbacks in the competition last year. Made major strides into obviously keeping that position now that Rogers come back. Um, he's been assured of that position. Who knows how long for, but <laughs> we'll see what hap what plays out there. Good depth in and around that six and uh, that six position now with 
Chanel Tavita Metcalf, and as you mentioned, to Marie Martin, they've mm-hmm. got um, they've got a couple of first grade <laughs> blokes will be sitting on the bench or playing reserves. And if they really need them. to, Mark Metcalf can play centre. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I mentioned Pompey, but you got Montoy. They've got some outside back options as well in mm-hmm. the team. Yeah. Now another. Um, they probably missed a little bit of a kicking option outside of Sean Johnson last year, which yeah. now probably strengthened a little bit with some of those options that I mentioned. Um, their bench rotation is probably one of the better ones. Mm-hmm. They keep up that physicality and the, the power running through yeah. the middle of the field when they do go to well, their if bench. If you said to me Dylan Walker's the best 14 in the comp, he was tr- I wouldn't argue. this last year. How good yeah, was no arguments he? from me. Um, yeah, absolute brilliant. I think it would take... Yeah, injury and suspension for him not being the top six. Agree, agree, agree. Um, what do you got to say there, GT? Yeah, just looking over the, the squad, depth is huge. They're, they're one of the few teams that they could sustain a whole bunch of injuries and really not lose too much, unless it was to someone like Johnson. That you wouldn't want to lose Sean Johnson. Obviously a game-breaker. It's a theme of our preview today. You know, we don't want to wish the worst anyone to... Yeah, but even if they did, they wouldn't fall too far compared to teams like Newcastle that if they lost Ponga, that's it. Yeah. They're, they're on struggle street. So, yeah, well, they, they, they played, what, four or five games without Johnson when they had Tamari in there and they had, um, yep. at the time, Volkman, I think, filled in a couple of times, that sort of thing. Yep. But there, there's depths in the forwards, the second rowers. The... Roger coming back into the centres, that's just uh, a luxury. Mm-hmm. They're... I, I can't see them falling. I I started doing my research for this, thinking, no, nah, they they had one great year. Now they're gonna they're gonna fall back to, but I can't see how it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's got. You've got to give credit to Andrew Webster. Um, obviously a very very smart operator. He's now in his second year, so you know he's going to be in a Todd Bait Todd Payton boat a little bit, um, as he's got to do it again. Um, when he came on as coach. He didn't make a, he didn't have a single signing. The yep. squad he got was what existed, and they were what they were in thirteenth or something the year before, and he has turned them around. Uh, he's now gone out and made some very astute signings. Yes, they've lost Curran, but they're going to have got a bloke that's won comps at uh, two different clubs in Capel. Three clubs, two clubs, the Sharks and Penrith, uh, and Nelly won a comp it was at Brisbane. Brisbane. Uh, who, what you see, you know, you have Kurt Capel. He's just gonna, he's never gonna be the, the stats man, but he doesn't miss tackles. He's in the right spot, uh, can play centre if they really need to, footwork, um, just a, a great, astute signing uh, and a great operator. Obviously, RTS, obviously, Chanel Harris Tavita. They've re signed Torhu, uh, my tribal chief, for another year. So I assume his legs were going to stay on for another year, but it, that, you know, at times it didn't matter if his legs were attached or not, because he's still amazing. Um, and I can wax lyrical about this forward pack, but you've got Fennell Blake, who's got as good a footwork as a front rower has. Barnett had a, a low key great year last year. Um, kept, got rid of the pumpkin actually and stayed in the field and was great. And um, Jackson Ford is in I wouldn't necessarily say he's in the Nakora category, but a fantastic hole Hold hitter runner, and try scorer uh, mm-hmm. and who connects really well. That's all ticks. You get any got blokes like um, near Corey on the bench. So, yeah, depth is great. Coach looks to be going well. I was, I was interested, and I, I guess price is the issue, but only 2% of people own Torhu Harris in Supercoach. And um, I thought that was incredible, but he's 750K, so I can understand to an extent people starting that way. But if you're looking for pods, well, there's one. He's a set and forget too. There's no. Well, that we talked about um, the other set and forget earlier. The front row who I've just forgotten. You anyway, um, and then Wade Egan. Wait, I was looking at this earlier in terms of super coach. Just while I'm on here, he's owned by three percent. His first last year, his first he started the season with 99, 88, 71, 64, and then he had the injuries and the concussions. Uh, came back 61 46, 61 77. Um, at 500 and change, he's an absolute pot yeah, option. Top number. Yes, absolute he is an option. option. A very strong option. So, and a lot of those low scores, I'm just looking through, there's lots of 30s and 20s later on where he'd get knocked out or he had to go off or he wasn't well. Um, 
possibly the most underrated player in the competition, right, Egan? So uh, they've got every base covered. I'm going to say s- top four. Um, and and the other thing they do is they smash teams. When they get on top of teams, they put them yep. away. When you actually go back and look at the results last year, they put 30s, 40s, 50s on teams. Uh, I, I hope. Look, I hope they win the comp. I hope they. It'll be great to see them win the comp. Can they? Yes. Will they? Probably not. But um, I hope they do. Final thoughts on the Warriors? Or anything else we haven't touched on? Can't really no. say much more than what you have, to be honest. Um, yeah, top six for mine. Yep. Yeah, I've got them bordering that top four in that general vicinity. 